Hello and welcome back. I'm your friendly neighborhood technician. Today I have something different for you and something hopefully all you guys will enjoy and girls. Uh, today is going to be a real treat. I have a uh, 99 C280, but not just any C280. Um, this C280 has had um, so much time and so much love and care put into it to make it what it is. It will blow uh, your minds completely. So um, let's get right to it. side of it like I said 99 c280 it started his life at it started its life at um, and it was the sport now it's sitting on e55 monoblocks with the correct size actually the factory's e55 size tire so that is a 265 wide tire sitting underneath that car and it doesn't rub and it actually fits which is crazy in itself um, and so like I said it is the sport so it does have all the chrome delete and uh, you can't really tell, but underneath here are the C55 uh, brakes, front and rear. So uh, you can kind of get a peek at it right there. You can see right there. And just to give you an idea of how close that is, look at that. But here's something that you guys might not notice. This was, not anymore, was the last brand new C36 front bumper in the world uh, until it got ordered and installed on this and you can see right here has the AMG emblem right there with the fog lights and everything now this was not an easy install all the brackets had to get ordered and everything had to get transferred over um, some things had to get transferred over as well and you can see that the chrome right there has been um, not chromed anymore also wipers that this car didn't come with over here so that's another little detail as well as the side skirts to match <laughs> and factory smoke tail lights i'm only going to get right here there's the amg logo so like i said this car has gone through several iterations this is the third i believe the first iteration was the c280 it started at second iteration was basically this, but a 113 engine. Take the 112 out, put a 113 engine in it. 113 automatic, and you have the second iteration. iteration. This one, actually, I'm gonna keep walking around this way and I'll show you. Then we'll go back to the front. That's what it is now. All right, let's start with the interior because it'll kind of give you a little teaser of what this car's all about. First off, AMG airbag on the factory steering wheel with the AMG cluster. You can see right there. Um, and also, if you look down here, tape holder, all but doesn't end there. This is the factory radio. You notice how clean that factory radio is. Nothing's peeling, nothing's dirty, the knob looks ridiculously good. That's because you can still send your factory radios back to Becker, and they will re re rebuild your whole radio, they'll go through it, fix anything that's broken, buttons, uh, anything like that, and they'll fix it. But not only that, 
but they will also add, if you want, Bluetooth to your factory radio. So when you turn the radio on and it's on tape, you can actually connect your phone Bluetooth to your factory radio uh, and it works just like any other any other Bluetooth. Um, so you don't have any wires dangling. You don't have to have the, the wire with the tape dangling out of the front of the radio. None of that. Now to give you a little bit more of what this car is all about. As you pan down, forgive the fact that there's no boot. But that's a manual. That's a manual transmission out of a Chrysler Crossfire. And we'll get more to that in a second. So everything that was required to get the manual uh, swap in was the manual transmission from a Chrysler Crossfire. Um, and like I said, everything is factory. It's, my, it's not factory for this car, but everything is factory. Um, so the exhaust had to come from a uh, CLK 430. Um, part of the drive shaft had to come from a CLK 430. And then part of a drive shaft had to come from... Um, a C230 uh, to get it to, to get everything to work but every piece is factory which is the crazy part here's also something that's super rare and hard to find a factory sunshade this thing had to come from Europe I believe so details okay so I made a mistake over there. The rear section of the drive shaft is from a CLK 430. The front section of the drive shaft is from a manual C240 203 chassis because the transmission, the manual transmission from the 203 chassis is a little bit shorter. So the drive shaft has to be a little bit longer. So that was all factory pieces that are made to fit. So now we are gonna hear what this thing sounds like. All right, now let's see what it looks like. It sounds like starting up. See what's underneath. Miguel. <laughs> All right, let's see what this thing has. There we go. The last iteration. 113 from a C55, from a 203 C55. Shoehorned under the hood of this beast. And everything is factory. Factory. Everything works. No check engine lights. Everything talks to it. Everything talks to each other. So everything's programmed to, to work properly. And not only is it a C55 113, it's a manual which is crazy in itself because, I mean, the one or two times a year we actually see a manual, this thing has been swapped to a manual with a V8, which is crazy because you never see V8 manual Mercedes in the US.
right, so up here, these ducks are actually 203 ducks, trimmed to fit. And trim the uh, front engine cover just slightly right there to get that to fit. So to get this thing to even sit in this car, this thing has the lower and upper oil pans as well as the oil pump from the CLK430 as well as the exhaust manifolds and motor mount arms. Here's something you guys might not have noticed. These are new old stock headlights. There's your part number for those right there for that one. And that one. Same part, no, it's not the same part number, obviously. Left and right, but those are factory. Here's a few things, little details that in, you, might, you guys might not have noticed. These didn't come factory on a 202 chassis. That one didn't, that didn't. Of course, I don't, this isn't even a, it's not even a 202 um, fan shroud. So, that was added, this was added. This is actually the oil cap off a 156 engine, the AMG, the C63 engine. That's where that's from. Um, so, hey, Sandro. Sandro, Patricia, Patricia, I don't know how you want to pronounce it. If you're watching this, uh, thanks for building this motor. This thing even has new old stock floor mats. As well as legit phone. Doesn't work, but it looks cool as hell. Also straight from the depths of eBay, the European warning triangle. Factory CD changer as well. Full sound system. Oh, uh, this car never came with those, by the way. And the amps are hidden right behind the panel there. So you can't see it really nice and clean. All right, so um, I was just informed that this is actually part of the traction control right there. Because uh, when this thing has got a full tank, and it, even if it doesn't have that in there, um, just barely touching it, this thing is really loose and squirrely in the back. But this thing right here, I guess that box weighs about 120 pounds. With all the speakers, magnets, everything required. And uh, keeps it planted. Now to get it sitting like this, it has H&R lowering springs all the way around. And it has the Bilstein, 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 I forget how it's spelled. Uh, shocks front and rear, the B8s. Now um, there are some spacers in the front here to be able to get, and I quote, a Pinoch hair between these right there. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you didn't enjoy that, hopefully you enjoyed the view. This used to be a uh, popular makeout spot when I was a kid before they put in all the, uh, the bougie houses like that one up there. So thank you for watching. Make sure you give me that thumbs up, hit subscribe, and hit the notification icon so you get notifications when I post a new video. Also, thank you to slow underscore W202, whose car that was. Uh, I'll put a link to his Instagram in the uh, description below. Uh, so thank you for letting me do a video on your car. And uh, I'll be trying to get you more videos. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.